Hello Kickstarter, Steve here from fireboxstove.com. I've got the latest version of the folding firebox stove here. We worked really hard, stayed up late, trying to get this production prototype finished. And I've packed up a whole camp kitchen in my backpack and I'm headed up the canyon to test it all out. Okay, let me show you some of these improvements. The firebox comes in this white cotton delivery bag, which works as a great liner if you do decide to get the leather bag or the Cordura case. So as always, the firebox just opens up into position. You don't have to do any assembly at all. We've added this expansion chamber. This is a special arrangement of holes that actually create a suspension system for the expansion of the metal. So when it gets really hot, that absorbs the expansion of this center piece and it reduces warpage. Now we've changed to larger holes and we've added, we've made sure to have a center hole. And the reason we did that is because of a new way that we've been fueling the firebox uh, is as a Swedish fire torch. And so that gives us a center hole to feed the center of that Swedish fire torch. Okay, now another feature we've added is you've always been able to use the, the ash pan upside down to dampen the fire, to slow down the flow. But now we've added some holes, some position holes here in these two spots that allow this to actually be adjustable. So now you can slide your damper or your ash pan in and out. And I'll go ahead and get out my zebra loop handle pot. This is where I've got all my gear stowed away. So another addition that we've added is a highest position for the Trangia alcohol burner. So this allows you to use your Trangia alcohol burner in this highest position. Now this is kind of important because this creates that one inch headspace between the jets and the bottom of your pot that has been recommended by Hiram Cook, who we all know is the master of spirit burners and using alcohol to cook with. Now along with that, we have also added the ability to use the Trangia gas attachment. So now you can cook with gas with the folding firebox stove. So you run your gas line down in, and then this just snaps into position. Now this can be put into several different heights. This is where you would want it if you were cooking right up on top of your firebox. But you could also put it way down at the bottom. Like this. Now this lowest position, along with additional fire sticks, is a great position for something like this Tokes Titanium 1100 milliliter pot that actually can go down into the firebox now which protects it from the wind and the breezes and really makes a nice boiling system for something like that pot. Now you can also use the optional boil plate and drop down a stainless steel water bottle or by raising it up to a higher position you can use the standard space saver cup which becomes an awesome little boiling system for kind of a solo camp. We've also added the cross feed fuel delivery system. This creates a very efficient fire and makes it very easy to control cooking temperatures. Now I've also increased the depth of these notches. 
to improve our horizontal baking position that allows the use of a zebra loop handle pot or other types of pots to be cradled in the firebox horizontally to use as a camp oven. So here I have the zebra loop handle pot. Now this one is equipped with our stainless steel spring wire clips that allow the use of the handle as an oven door latch. So now I can cook stuff inside of the zebra loop handled pot such as baking a cake, I've baked bread, I've cooked whole chickens. It really works great. Now fueling the stove with this Swedish fire torch setup is really great for big jobs. I have almost three quarts of water here and I can just let this sit over here and work while I go do other jobs around the camp. Now look at that flame. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Okay, I think we have a boil here. I'm going to go ahead and check it. And yes, we're starting to boil, so I'm going to go ahead and drop in my corn. And then once this corn is cooked, I'm just going to go ahead and keep boiling water just to see how many pots of water I can boil with this single load of fuel. Second pot of water here. Okay, there's our second pot of water boiling, and you can see we still have quite a bit of fuel left. Okay, I wasn't quite able to bring that third pot of water to a boil, but it is uh, fairly hot. But now I want to go ahead and use these hot coals. Now that the flame is gone, I want to use these hot coals to grill a steak. So I'm going to go ahead and use this optional set of fire sticks, this optional second set of fire sticks to put my grill plate on. There we go. Wow, that's looking beautiful. Now I want to go ahead and transition into my baking project, but I'm going to steal some of these hot coals out of here, and I'll show you why here in just a second. These are really nice, big, hot coals. Now these, you kind of have to flex it over just a little bit to get it to go into position. It goes into position just like that. Then I'm going to use a little stick to flex this one over. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put my pot in its horizontal baking position. And I'm going to go ahead and put some small rocks in the bottom. These act as thermal mass and help it work better as an oven. Okay, now I'm going to add my oven roof rack and then put these hot coals up on top. This will give us a little bit of heat on the top side of our oven. Okay, I'm wanting just a little bit more heat than what my stove's putting out right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few sticks into this side feed port. This will give us just a little bit of flame and help us get this oven preheated a little bit faster. Okay, you can see that that certainly turned up the heat by just adding those three little sticks. Okay, my oven is up to temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and put my rolls in. Take off my oven door. I'm just going to slide my rolls right in there. Ooh, this is going to be so good. Put my oven door back on. And we'll let's check it. our rolls. Oh wow, they look great. Let me see if I can get them out of here. Oh yeah, those turned out really nice. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some butter on my corn. I've been able to keep it nice and warm here with this radiant heat of the 
buyer box. So I'm going to go ahead and put some butter on my corn. Let it melt around. Then I'm also going to put some butter on the tops of these rolls. And get it in one piece. Oh, wow. Woo, they're hot. Wow, look at those rolls. That really turned out nice. Look at that meal. Wow, that's going to be delicious. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this beautiful meal now, but I sure would appreciate your help. Making these changes to the firebox requires additional tooling and programming, all that are very, very expensive. So please, help us out. We have some awesome rewards available, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy the folding firebox next generation. Thank you. Bye-bye. That's good. Oh wow, that's beautiful. That's still medium rare. Mm. Wow. Delicious. Check this out. Look at that beautiful steak.